Hey everyone, it's Joe Crump. We just created a new uh, section or a new piece to the system in the AutoMarketer uh, program and I wanted to show you how it works because uh, it, it, we, we created it for two different reasons. One is to make it easier for somebody who's brand new, uh, just getting started, to be able to make an offer to a seller and get it accepted. And two, and I guess the main reason I did this was for me and for my business, to make it easier uh, for us to be able to bring some someone in uh, who's a low-level, uh, low-paid um, uh, person who works on the phone, for phone person, phone salesperson, uh, to be able to come in and make these offers for us, or at least help us make these offers. And basically what it does is it breaks it up into a two-step process instead of a one-step process. And uh, right now, the, the way I teach my mentor students is we just go in there, we make the call, and we close the deal right away. But uh, what we're finding is that that's hard, harder to teach, and uh, maybe it's it, it'll be easier to do it uh, this with this new method. And with the people that we've been working with, uh, uh, they're doing a great job doing it in two steps like this. So I think you're going to like the way this is laid out. It's actually very cool. I'm pretty proud of it. So anyway, um, I'm going to the lead response. Uh, tab and you, when you we have email campaigns voice blast campaigns and text blast campaigns in this system and when we send out an email and each each of these lead responses when the leads will have the same thing in here for for all the leads um, but I'm going to go to the lead response. We've got a bunch of lead responses in this particular account. Uh, it's not in this stuff is not in the training program yet. It's going to be there in a few weeks, so we're going to have that up there soon. But as you scroll down the page here, and this this has been here for a while, you'll see all the leads that are in this system here. And I've just picked this one here that I've already been into. And you can see if you've gone in here and saved something already, it changes it. So you can tell whether or not the person that you have working for you has actually called these people or whether, if you're doing it yourself, if you've called those people. Um, this is a link to the ad. And this, this also uh, tells you what type of lead it is. It's a, it's a self-categorization system. But um, let me just show you what the new lead page looks like. And by the way, <clears throat> when you have this here, this tells you what the lead said, uh, you know, and you can get this information about what they emailed back to you. But as you open this page up, you're going to have some information in here. Uh, first of all, you can uh, you can look at this. You can get the information on the lead. This is the the response that they gave us. And then we can have multiple uh, properties in here, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And this is a menu to kind of move around in this form and make it easy while you're talking to the lead on the phone uh, so that you can make this happen. And so that you can give this lead form to the person who's making the phone calls for you uh, and have them do it competently. So they go through this process, you know, hi, I'm Joe, uh, you responded to our email uh, about selling your house, rent to buy, I'm an investor, and I'd like to make an offer, but we buy homes a couple of different ways, and we need some specific information to help us craft an offer that meets your needs as the homeowner and still makes sense for us. So I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about the property, and we let them reply, and usually they're going to say yes, so they're trying to sell the property. Okay, thanks, it'll, it'll just take a few minutes. And we go in here and we try to get as much information as we can. The first thing that we're going to do is ask them for the property address. And I'm just going to put one in here so you can see what I'm doing. And this is one that I know exists. And you can verify it, and it checks with the post office to see where it's at. And then it brings us up a map so we can see where it's located. And once we've done that, uh, we can save the progress of it, of this particular property. And then we can get new information on this property. And um, while we're talking to the folks, so maybe first I want to say, well, how much is this property worth? How much does Zillow think it's worth? So I can pull up Zillow's site, and it'll give me a Zestimate of $75,000, and the rent estimate of $839 it gives me a little information about the property, you know, what size it is and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. Shows you where it's at on a map, shows you what other properties are around it and what they're renting for, and you can get more details by looking at Zillow. You can leave that uh, window open. You can also go to Rentometer. Uh, and it'll pull up the same property on Rentometer, and you can put in here, I know this is a three-bedroom house, or I'm sorry, this is a three-bedroom house. Let's see, if I wanted to get $800 a month for this particular property, I can analyze it, and it can tell me whether or not 
that rent is reasonable. And $800 looks like it might be a little bit high for that property, but it shows me what else is renting around there. So based on the condition of the property, I can decide whether it makes sense. And it tells me what the averages are on those properties. So I have a pretty good idea of, of what I can rent it for. So when I talk to him about renting the property or getting a lease option buyer in there, I'll know what the market rent is because market rent is so absolutely vital to that property. Now, this is not the, the same property as I typed in. This is the ad that was actually there that, that had responded, and it gives us the phone number, and it lets us know if they, if they ran more than one ad. If there's more than one property that this particular person has run, then they'll both come up here. Or I can click on View Original Ad, and if it's still in Craigslist, it'll actually take us to Craigslist and show us that ad. Sometimes they have pictures in it. So this gives us a pretty good idea of what they were asking for, and it let, lets us seem a little bit more intelligent when we're talking to them. You can also click on Google Maps to get a, a maybe a, a look at the property, a picture of the property. And here's here's what the house looks like, and you can get a you know closer version of it if you like. So you can see what the house looks like, and of course you can move up and down the street on this house as well and see that it's at a pretty decent little you know, area. So that gives you a lot of great information that you can have while you're talking to these people. There's also another thing that I just added called selling options. Uh, if you know what the options are for the people that you're, who are trying to sell, it makes it easier for you to make an offer because then you can go back to them and say, well, here are your options. Here, these are the things that you can do. And each one of these has an expanded uh, you know, explanation of how they work. And you can, just, you, can, you can go through them and you can tell them all their options and exactly what those different options are and then let them make a decision. Also, if this particular property is where they live, then you can do this uh, apply changes to the home address and it'll plug it in up here if that person lives in this property. And of course, you want to get the rest of their information. This is the Craigslist anonymized email address and you want to try to get their real email address as well. And of course, you save the progress as you go along. And then you start asking them these questions about their property. You've already asked them permission to do it, and they've given you permission. So you ask them how much you want for it, what do you think it's worth, uh, you know, how did you come up with the price. All these questions are really important for us to be able to understand the motivation factor and, and what type of offer that we can make. We ask them how much they owe on the property, what their payments are, why they're selling, why they're moving, all this stuff that will tell us whether or not to make that offer. And I'm going to create a whole training program on how to use this and how to talk to these people and, and all this that's going to go inside the auto marketer to help you through the process and also so that you can give it to uh, the the person that you hire. For, you know, And I've got people that are hiring people for 4 5 $6 an hour to make these calls for them. And you have to hire more than one person to make this work because you you know maybe two or three or four people or five people before you finally want finally find one that actually uh, will do the work the way that you need it to be done and will follow through the way they promise uh, but once you find that person you can hold on to them for a long time and you can continue to hire new people and expand into other areas because you can do this from anywhere and the people that we have calling for us we've got one person who's in Pennsylvania one person who's in the Philippines one person who, who's in Jamaica so we've got people all over the place that are doing this uh, for us and then you can get all this other information and it gives you more dialogue on how to handle uh, this as well you just walk through this it's really not difficult uh, get information about the house, which you might have already gotten on Zillow, and you can plug that in. And then once you have this, uh, you can save the progress, and you can either open up a new property if they've got more than one, because a lot of times we'll run into investors who have multiple properties, and that's, you know, if we go to the top of the page, you can, you can get those properties here, and you can, you can zoom between properties. But once you get uh, once you get the information that you need, you can change the way it's it's in our autoresponder, which means that the series of emails that they get is going to be different depending on whether they said yes, no, or yes, they've got a phone number. And then once everything's said and done, you can save this data and you can email uh, all this data to the account holder, which is you, the investor. So if you're you have a, so somebody who's making these calls, you can have it set up so that it's going to email you the data and uh, then you can forward it to anybody you like and uh, uh, if we do this in a two-step process the way it's designed is you've got the the lower level skilled person uh, asking these questions and then once you get all the information it email they email it to you and then you call the seller back and you get a lease option memo signed and put together so uh, that's a really quick review of what this thing is it does quite a bit more than 
uh, what we're talking here and uh, but it's it's extremely cool <laughs> and uh, right now it's it's making a difference uh, in the the leads that we're getting from the people who are working with us and it's making them competent it's giving them information and of course the more they do it the better they get at it it's also making it possible for the people who are new in my program to be able to learn how to make these calls and how to ask these questions so that uh, um, they have a you know a personal connection with the seller and they are um, they sound competent uh, and once you get that stuff done uh, then they say look I'm gonna have my boss give you a call and when's the best time to do it uh, let me just scroll down to that real quick uh, and when you have that you can pick a date and then you can pick a time let's say 930 and it'll plug that in there and then you put the phone number to call and uh, if they say no then you've got another dialogue to deal with uh, to, to keep the process going if you can. So that's the, the brand new thing. I'm going to be expanding on this, but I just wanted to get it out there so you can see that it's available. For those of you who are already using the Automarketer, you know, you want to start using this because it's really going to help you get those leads um, converted in a lot, uh, a lot higher level, a lot higher conversion level. And for those of you who have been using it for a while, it's going to change the game dramatically when you start hiring people to do this work for you and you use a two-step process. So um, anyway, that's it for now, and uh, I'll get more, and I'll be putting more training in the, in the uh, training program of the Automarketer soon. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.